Welcome to Bunbury Street Art Crawl. Last year, Bunbury uh, decided to paint more than 30, more than 31 um, different wall murals and stuff. We even have a map. Let's go cross some of those things off. Here we have number one and number two on our map. Oh, and also, looks like we got number three. One thing I like to joke about. Over here we have the statue of the Tin Man and his three friends. They all point, uh, point in the north, south, east, west direction. And over there, uh, something going on over there, but there is like an inlet, watery area sort of thing. Let's keep going. And here's our next one. And then behind us, Actually, this place here does really nice nachos. And uh, it's called Traffs. Or Trafalgar's, if you want to use a full name. Oh, and can't forget the most iconic thing about Bunbury, the milk carton. Can't see it very well at the moment, but uh, later on you will. And I think stuff like this is like amazing. The detail. How oh, awesome. And on a random note, here is the art gallery. I had to come in here time to time. It's closed at the moment, but um, it's also pink, which is pretty awesome. And at the back of the art gallery we have this massive piece of art here um, so each artist has um, done like a few um, pieces um, all over Bunbury and uh, this guy here who did this piece is called the Beast Man so yeah pretty cool actually um, where I am at the moment it's like do not enter authorized access only so that's kind of weird but uh oh well for the sake of art. <laughs> Alright, and here's one of the coolest ones where like, it's all like a big major collab um, between all the artists. And, uh, that one there represents like um, Bunbury Lighthouse. Um, I have to say that one's like kind of weird. I don't really get that one, but uh, that's okay. Still pretty cool. And uh, here's like the Aboriginal dedication one. It's pretty awesome. They've got like all this stuff written in their own language. Uh, and then they've got like this thing at the side here, it's like uh, place names, land, sky, water, family, and all the words for it. Pretty awesome. Followed by the pink dot. And a purple house. And uh, I think this one's probably my favourite one that I've actually seen so far, which uh, says down here, like, we're all just visitors. Um, on my previous street crawl, well, street art crawl, that was, like, my favourite one. So I haven't seen them all yet, but, uh, working on it. And, uh, oh, yeah, this one here. Like, just, like, can't stop appreciating like the detail of like that face and uh actually I know that artist too so in the corner 
they usually have um, who the, the artists and stuff so she owns a shop in town um, like a clothing art sh like art store um, like she's kind of gothic she's pretty cool I love how this one here is like on the side of this like random building middle of a car park and then like this fox has really really long arms and it is holding a saw and again there's like the private property sign like do not enter <laughs> and right behind it yeah, you can see like the art gallery over that way and then just down here they kind of have like another one I don't know if it's supposed to be like representing God or something but the eyes are kind of weird and um, he's holding not one parrot but two parrots and this one's like not on private property so we're all good to be wow just wow the detail it's amazing at first when like I first came out here like I thought the chick like there is like Sarah Michelle Geller, but uh obviously it's not but uh that chick over there kind of looks like um the girl who plays like Darcy from um starting from now which is like uh like a lesbian like Sydney web series <laughs> anyway it's probably not actually Darcy from starting from now but that's okay I can pretend it is and here's our next like trail on down so you have like a variety I'll have to check the map maybe it's another one it's like they call it like a street jam thing where everyone like paints a piece I like that one, I like the sword and everything, the candle in the center. Looks like a uh, like a magic ritual or something. All right, and two of the last ones I can see. I think there's like two more on my way back to the car, but uh, this one here, which I really quite like, and then kind of like a more of a depressing sort of one. It's like uh, from pain we grow. But then this little dude like carries it all the way along. Down here with some stars. And then, best of all, Harry Potter reference. We can find hope even in dark times. If only you remember to turn on the light. Which I think is a pretty good message. Alrighty, one of the last ones. I would go a little bit closer, but it looks like they're setting up some sort of sound system. I guess there's something happening tonight which I have no idea about. But uh, yeah, I like this one. And then on the other side, we have more matching stalks to go with it. And I see they're setting something up down there. And that's the end of the street crawl. Oh, street art crawl, sorry. I keep saying street crawl. It's a street art crawl. Um, I think we found, like, most of the pieces. I think there's still, like, a few pieces left to find, but uh, I couldn't really find them. And I'm trying to find, like, little dots on the map, it's uh, kind of not working. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Bye.